Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show how to create drawing substitutions in Toon Boom Harmony. This can be really helpful for creating replacement animations for, for instance, 2D character rigs. So in this case, I'm gonna be creating mouse shapes for a hypothetical 2D character rig. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna move the playhead back to the front and I'm gonna to need to create a drawing layer to begin. So I'll just press this plus button and go down to drawing. Right here and under my preferences, I have this set up so that I have four art layers. So if you have two art layers, that's fine. This just explains the difference with the way this looks. I'll call this mouth. And you can work in bitmap or vector layers. I, I would generally recommend vector, especially if you're using this for a character rig. So I'll just press add and close. Something else that I would recommend is for any character rig, and this is more broadly about a character rig, more than replacement animations necessarily, is we have the, the default color palette right here, and I recommend just pressing the plus button and creating generating your own color palette, which I kind of did ahead of time. And creating your own color palette will just help you avoid issues when collaborating with others down the road if, you, if you're creating a character rig. So to get started, I'm on my line art layer, and I can draw with whichever method I choose. So if you like the brush tool, use the brush tool. If you like the pencil tool, use that, etc. I'm not using the drawing surface that I'm used to, so my drawings are going to be really crude. This is mainly going to be about simply demonstrating the core technique. So I have my pencil tool, I have center line smoothing all the way up, so that'll help me out with my drawing. And I'm just going to create a neutral drawing right there. And so this will just be like the neutral mouse shape. And so the next thing that we want to do is we need to find the drawing substitution panel. So you can go up to Windows, and I'll go to Drawing Substitutions in just a moment. I just really quickly want to show you that there's also the Library panel. And with the Library panel, it has these other functions that you can use, which I'll go over in other tutorials. But we have the Drawing Substitution panel embedded into it up here. So if you like the Library panel, you can use that. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to use the Drawing Substitution panel. So instead of opening a free-floating panel, I'm going to open a panel over here by clicking on this plus button and drawing substitutions. And so we can already see that drawing one shows up right there. If I want no exposure, I'm gonna click on no exposure and look what happens over here. So you can see it switches. And if I wanna go back to drawing one, I just click on it right there. So keep that in mind, cause that's gonna be, this is at its core, a really simple technique that I'm showing. So next up, what we need to do is for mouse shapes, we need to create, I mean, at least 14 to 16 mouse shapes that go over the different vowel and consonant shapes that are made when a character is speaking. But you also want to think about making nonverbal expressions like a frown, smile, etc. So I have my neutral. And to start generating this library, all you're going to do is you're going to find this button on the timeline. It's called duplicate drawing. And if I click on that, it's going to create a duplicate up here. And we can just start creating duplicates and making new drawings. And so for each drawing, I can, if I want to, I can just go to the select tool. I'm on drawing two, select it, and I can make a new drawing from scratch, right? So this is an O expression and you can see that fills in after just a, a brief pause right there. And I can click and change between them. And yeah, I'll, I'll just start creating a few more of these. Something that's nice is you don't need to do this in order. So let's say that I create the O expression and I want to make an expression that's, that's just a simple change off of drawing one. I can just click back on drawing one, go back to duplicate drawing, and it's duplicating that drawing. And so in here, you can do things like even use the contour editor, which I go over in other video tutorials where you can just click on a line and change its placement using the Bezier's or the anchor points right here. So if I want to create an E expression maybe where the top of the mouth just extends out a little bit, but mostly stays in the same place. I can kind of start there and I'll quickly just draw the lower part. This is not my best drawing, right? So up here, I, I'm gonna use the cutter tool. It's hidden underneath the select tool up there and I can just drag through, oops. Uh, one zooms out, two zooms in. Spacebar helps you pan if you need to get in closer. So I'm pressing one. All right, so let's just say that's my e expression. Again, I'm just drawing this really loosely. And again, just going through and just using this duplicate drawing uh, button right there to, to make new iterations. So let's say that I'm making an A expression maybe. I'm just gonna make it more pronounced right here and up here. 
just change the Bezier's real quick. And, you know, you get the idea, right? This is just, we're, we're just kind of making a few different expressions there. And ideally what you would do is create this line art and fill in the color art and complete the whole drawing, right? Um, these are just really rough sketches, but if I was doing this for real, I would uh, fully draw each mouth shape as its own finished mouth drawing, right? So for like this A, I would have like the pencil right there, draw the top teeth, use the cutter tool, get that out there. And from here, we're on our line art, so we just click on that. You look for this button, which copies the line art down to the color art. So it's called Create Color Art from Line Art. I just click on that button, go down to the color art, and you should see these blue lines going through. And so that makes it so you can very easily just paint bucket in these different sections and end up with kind of what I'm talking about with a finished looking drawing where the color is underneath the line art. And um, so yeah, ideally you would fully fill these in for each of these. I'm gonna try to keep this tutorial moving quickly. So I'm only gonna color in that one drawing. Some Another trick you can do during the these uh, drawing substitutions or replacement animations is let's say for this O expression, so I'll go back to drawing two. I'll click on that. Let's say that I just wanna keep the same drawing but just have it more pronounced. Or, or a more pronounced iteration of it. So I just click on number two, I'm gonna duplicate it. And from here, I can just go to the select tool, select it, and you know, just scale it, tr transform it a little bit. And so this will be a more pronounced expression. And you can see they show up as two different drawings. So you can make really subtle changes to these drawings or create entirely new drawings. It's entirely up to you. So this is enough drawings, at least for this demonstration. So something you might want to do is rename these. So right now it's just one, two, three, four, five. What you can do if you want to rename these is you have to enter into the edit mode. And the way to do, to do that is you just click on this three line button, go to edit mode under drawing substitutions panel and each, each of these will turn red. And you can't animate from this view, but you can rename things and delete drawings. So if I don't like that drawing, I can um, right click on it and I can delete the selected drawing. You can also select multiple drawings and delete them. I can also right click on each one and rename it. So I'll call this neutral, call this lowercase o. I'll make this uppercase o because it's a more pronounced expression. This one will be E, this one will be A, and you can just rapidly go through and it'll just make the animation process easier. From here, you wanna exit out of the edit mode. So in edit mode, again, it's red. And if I just click on the three line button where we were before and uncheck edit mode, it'll go back to, to where it was. Um, but yeah, exit out of edit mode. So now we can move on to the animation stage. So in the animation stage, we need to extend the exposure of this, so you can do that by moving the playhead over here and clicking on F5, and that'll just make this drawing last longer. Or I can just click it and drag it if I'm zoomed in enough, which I am right now. So I'm doing this without audio, so we're, let's just pretend there's audio down here. So let's say my character starts with a neutral expression. I'll zoom out a little bit. And let's say they start speaking on frame five. So I'll, all I have to do is I'm just going to, let's say they start with a, a, letter, a word that starts with the letter E. All I have to do to kind of start this animation going is I just click on this drawing substitution and it creates a new drawing for me. And you can see it creates a new drawing with that line divider down there. So it's really simple. So each time I want to replace the animate, replace the drawing, I just go up to the drawing substitutions panel, click on the drawing I want it to go to where the, where the playhead um, is where I want it to go. And if I press play, you can see I have an animation forming here.